jazz musicians make up a very tiny fraction of the overall population in this world. So why is it that so many of them feel the need to tear each other down completely unprompted? I'm a saxophonist mainly, so in this video I'm gonna go over a couple examples that I've seen recently in the jazz saxophone world, which by the way is an even smaller subset within the already tiny section of the population, which is jazz musicians. So first up, I wanna show you this recent post in a saxophone forum. I know you're already rolling your eyes. Oh my God, a forum for saxophonists to complain. Yeah, just stay with me though. You're gonna to wanna to hear this. This is about the great saxophonist, Chad Lefkowitz Brown. Chad is one of my favorite current players out there and he's a great educator as well. Do yourself a favor and check out some of his stuff, both playing and teaching. You'll thank me for it later. Anyway, somebody feels compelled to go anonymously online. That's right, of course they have some screen name, some fake name, because they can't put their actual name behind their words. Why, why would they do that? Whatever. So they go online to complain about how they don't like to hear him play, and they don't like listening to him. Now, think about that for a second. They felt compelled to go online and tell other people that they don't enjoy something. Why? I don't know, but let's dig a little deeper. They talk about how he has no feel, no soul, plays way too many notes. Then it goes beyond just the playing. They talk about his hair, the way he dresses, the way he looks on stage, all this stuff. And I say they because a bunch of other people see that and they're like, oh yeah, I also feel the same way. So I'm gonna jump in with you. Once again, what is the point of this? Where are we going with this? I don't know, let's keep going. I just don't get this at all. First of all, it's completely unprompted. It's not like somebody responded to a thread just asking how he was or anything like that. They just felt like jumping on and saying, I don't like this thing. I don't like this specific thing. Why? I don't know, maybe it makes them feel better. But I wanna really dig deeper and, and think about why is it bad that someone like Chad is making a great living, I assume, playing music, teaching music all around the world. He's inspiring people all over to pick up an instrument and play. He's also inspiring people to practice more through his educational content. He's not claiming that they're gonna be able to sound like him in a week or something, but he has great resources out there to get better at their instrument. He's also proving that he can do it by playing around the world, and so many people love his music. Why is that a bad thing? So many people online think that someone else's success shouldn't be warranted because they don't have it or they don't think they got it the right way, and I don't see what the issue is here by him actually living his life, playing music the way we all wish we could do it. It just blows my mind that there are people out there that think this is a bad thing to actually make a career out of music, to promote your brand and to bring that to thousands and millions of people around the world. I know it inspires me whenever I see him post a video of him playing or some educational material. And I know it inspires people all over the world because I see the comments and I've talked to many students who are really inspired by his playing and that is not a bad thing. I can only assume that the person who initially posted this thread and the subsequent mouth breathers who jumped in on it are saxophonists because it is a saxophone forum after all. I don't understand why they would want to tear down or talk bad about a saxophonist who is doing great things in the saxophone world and representing our instrument in such a positive light. The next Mensa membership application we have here is a Facebook post, yes, Facebook, I know, by Phil Barone. Check this one out. Leo P is another great saxophonist in the world today, really doing his own thing, being unique with it, and inspiring millions of people around the world. I personally know many students who picked up the Barry sax solely because of Leo. He brings an incredible energy every time he performs, whether that's on the stage or even just through a recording. I know that sometimes doing things in a little bit different way or being actually unique has its consequences, but I still don't get why we feel the need to unprompted go online or even in person or somewhere else talk bad about someone else in our space when they're only a force for positivity. We should be thanking these musicians who are actually putting their name and their music out there for millions to see. They're the ones who are keeping this alive and really helping the overall population see this music even more. I can't for the life of me figure out why somebody consumes something. In this case, it's gonna be a video or a piece of music, and then they consume the entire thing, they don't enjoy it, so then they have to go online in this case and tell everybody else how bad they think it is and how it's bad and it's stupid, even though many other people enjoy it. How about you just don't continue watching or listening to that thing? There's tons of music out there. There are tons of videos out there. Um, 
find one that you like and then watch that one. If you watch one and you don't enjoy it, just stop watching it. Stop listening to it, it's that easy. If you start eating a cheeseburger and you don't like it, don't eat the whole thing and then complain to everybody about it. Just stop eating it. Maybe order something else next time. You tried it, you didn't enjoy it. It's okay, it's not for everybody. I just think people should think outside of their little bubble every once in a while. Maybe this thing is actually pretty good overall because a lot of people enjoy it and it's just not my thing. That's fine. I don't need to try to talk bad about them or try to smear their name or try to say it's bad objectively because I personally don't like it. If millions of other people like it, that's great. I don't have to like it, but why do I have to go online and act like they are the problem when it's me who doesn't like it? Hmm. The final and most widespread example of this is the constant and embarrassing hate on Kenny G. Kenny is the reason that 95% of the population even knows what a saxophone is. And you wanna talk crap about him? You should be sending him letters and emails every single day thanking him for keeping your instrument relevant enough to play your crappy $50 gigs. Let's break this down for a second. He's a musician who plays the music that he wants to play, he writes the music that he wants to write, he gets to enjoy the life that he wants to enjoy, and that's bad? He's living the ultimate life for a musician. I see so many people online promoting their gigs, promoting their recordings, their merchandise, their teaching, and that's great, you should be doing that. You are your own brand. I just think it's very hypocritical when one of us in the saxophone world actually makes it big, we now wanna say that's a bad thing. That doesn't make any sense. It sounds to me like many don't think he deserves the fame, the notoriety, the money that he has. Somehow his playing isn't on the level that it should be to reach that fame, or that he doesn't play the right kind of music, or he doesn't go about things their way. Once again, this seems like a very egotistical thing, and I think people need to think long and hard about why they're saying that about someone else when they really should be looking at themselves a little more. If you're one of those people, I truly feel sorry for you, that your life is so horrible that you feel the need to look at people who are successful and try to tear them down because you're so miserable about your own life. I got to hang with Kenny after a show about a year ago, and we talked for hours about a million different topics, and I'm gonna get into some of those in a later video, but some of those topics related to this video I'm making right now. My hope is that in 2023 and going forward, we can actually come together as a community of jazz saxophonists and then the larger jazz musician world and really build each other up. We are once again, a very small fraction of the overall population. And while I don't think we have to love what each person does and we don't have to enjoy everybody's music or the way they go about it, I think that if we see something we don't like, we could just let them do their own thing. Many people don't like what I do and that's totally fine. I don't like what some other people do, but I'm not gonna try to smear their name because you know what, that might be right for them. If you're offended by anything I've said in this video, before you jump down into the comment section, please wipe the drool from your mouth and uh, take a good long hard look in the mirror. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.